hexadecimal then. Let's cover going from hexadecimal into binary. We're just focusing on the conversions in this video. So if you are not sure about what hexadecimal is in general and you're not up on your binary, you need to go watch the separate videos about those two topics, otherwise you'll struggle with this. The first thing I always do anytime I'm approaching any sort of hexadecimal questions is write the numbers down uh, that is that are available to me in hex. And if you remember from the other video, the trick is really I go from one to nine, but then I keep going using letters A, B, C, D, E, F. And then underneath the, num uh, the letters I've got here, I write down the deanery values for them. So that will help me remember uh, what each of these letters, what the value is for each of these letters. I would always encourage you to do this. It's very easy to make a mistake if you don't. Let's do some conversions then. We're going to do, uh, let's do 2A. We're going to convert 2A into binary to begin with. And what I should do is draw a line between each of my hexadecimal digits and then get into the habit of doing this one, two, four, and eight. So I'm starting at one, I'm doubling all the way up to eight. I'm doing that either side of the line that I've just done. And then I ask myself the question, how can I make the number up here are the numbers I have here? So I don't need any eights, I don't need any fours, I need one, two, and I don't need any ones. This is binary conversion now, so see the video about that if you need to. Then I'm asking for A, right, A is the value 10. So how do I make the number 10? Well, I need one eight, no fours, one two, and no ones. So that's your conversion. Now, your answer uh, from hexadecimal into binary is 00101010. Okay, so far so good. Let's go the other way. Let's say I've got to do binary to hexadecimal. Let's try this number. Let's see, I think that will be, yeah, that will be a good one. And I'm taking this nibble at a time. If you remember, it's four bits for a nibble, then I'm just gonna divide this into nibbles, so four bits at a time, and put a line again, just straight down for each of the nibbles that I've got there. Same trick, I'm gonna do one, two, four, and eight underneath each of these, and I'm just stopping at eight, starting at one, doubling all the way up to eight, and then I'm asking myself the question, okay, I've got four plus two, that equals six. Nice and easy because that is below 10, so that's just going to be hexadecimal 6. And then here I've got 8 plus 4 plus 2, that equals 14. So what I'm asking myself now, what letter does that equal? And I'm looking here, that equals E. So that means the binary I have here is actually the hexadecimal 6E. So that's converting the other way around. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.